the guy we casted earlier this tournament as uh, he's playing once more on the account Ma Vengeance, and of course back then it was Ma Vengeance against Kevin Bacon, which was very confusing. <laughs> <laughs> that was Slayer's Coca against Golden. This time it's going to be a little bit less confusing, Ben. ZVZ, best of three. I am Mafia, of course, the Australian Zerg player spawning in the left bottom side of Entombed Valley. The runner-up of WCS, Ukraina. Uh, Ukraine, wow. Australia. Ukraine. Ukraine. <laughs> Man, that would be an awesome country. Imagine the weather of Australia with the Ukrainian girl. <gasps> <gasps> Ship it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I please invent this country somewhere? I am Mafia. That is not incredi incredible miracle, Mafia. No, he just wants to be Mafia. Mafioso. I think he plays with Team Light, actually. Am I wrong right now? No. I have actually no idea. I so think I'm right. Pretty important thing to figure out. I'll, I'll mm, go he's not Light. There was right this um, Australian Protoss player who plays for Light. Mafia plays for... Uh, just look it up, Ben. I got you, bro. I should have known this. I'm sorry. But I do not. Um, I don't even know how to say that. Zeria, Zeria Gaming. Gaming? Hmm. Okay, maybe I did not know that. Ah. Of course, the uh, Australian StarCraft scene, it's really, it's got some good depth. It's got a lot mm -hmm. of people that participate in it, but it's kind of tucked away in the bottom right-hand corner of the world. That <laughs> not if I say bottom right-hand corner of a globe. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's, it's a, well, if you look at it as a map. Yeah. <laughs> You can just say like it's a map, man. We always look at a mini map as well. That's we have true. to put Earth on a mini map. Australia would probably be the right hand bottom corner. There you go. Thanks for saving me. Man, well imagine if we would like play. Wow, can someone please create the Star of Two map, which is like based on the world, and then you can spawn like on different continents. You know, I played Risk the other day with Greetorp, mm -hmm. and uh, he put all of his units in Australia, which was in the bottom right hand corner of the world. Yes. Point is. Point is, the world is flat, and Australia is in the bottom right hand corner of it. Imagine, <laughs> like, I mean, when you don't know if the world is like actually round or not, how scary is it that you're afraid to walk somewhere? It's like, hey man, what if the world ends there? <laughs> we could fall off. <laughs> you would have to be really courageous back then to be like a sailor. Yeah. Because you're like sailing and like you don't see over the horizon. And, it's and like people might have th actually thought that like big waterfalls was the end of the world. Yeah. yeah. Wow. The first guy guys. that ever saw Niagara Falls. Yeah. He's like, like, guys, it's the end of the world. I found it. <laughs> <laughs> and he jumped up, did not go very well. Did not end up in outer space, instead just cr crunched into the rocks mm -hmm. below. <laughs> was never able to tell the tale. <laughs> <laughs> Both players went for extractors, man, as uh, we have standard openings, of course, hatch first on either side. Uh, Mafia decided to mine one on that gas and then uh, sent most of his drones back to mining, but left one drone on the extractor. Kokai's gas is a little bit later, but it doesn't change a whole lot. Huh? Indeed it does not, Kevin. As they both have the still uh, the same amount of workers. Uh, what is actually uh, s s different? Oh no, it's not different, never mind. Oh, there's a little zergling. Yep. That's a little different. There's a zergling in my base. If he was from Ukraine, that's how he would talk. I don't think that's the case. Mafia producing uh, produced two queens at once, while the other queen, uh, or like from two hatcheries, while Coca did it from one hatch. So yeah. there was a small difference in build orders after what if all. What did combine Ukrainian and and Australian accents. What the hell would that sound like? Hi, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, mate. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. I have no idea. I would say something along those lines. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny. Bailing has going up on either side, man, so this might turn into one of those micro wise once more. Coca is the now to play with a small worker advantage, but uh, there's really not a big difference. Uh, Mafia did get a spine crawler. Well, there's fine on the way as well for Coca. It's a very even ZVZ. That's all it that we can say. In, uh, th th you're exactly right. 28 drones to 26 drones. Everything pretty much lining up on either side. So when is the phase, man? Like, w what right now are you as a Zerg player are, is a are able to... You, you're able to talk about it, this position a lot better than I am since you play way more Zerg than I do. What is the moment where you feel like it's okay to go back to droning? Uh, this is kind of the phase where uh, both players need to figure out what's happening. Uh, and this is really nice for... Uh, for Mafia to spot those two morphing banelings, but uh, the real key is just spotting your opponent's larva, and, and, and it's a little bit more complicated than it might sound, as you have mm -hmm. to you know, either spot it with an overlord where, when queens are around or get a ling to run past. Um, but if you watch really top-level guys, they'll have overlords parked in, in spots where you can just peek forward, see what comes out of an egg, and if it's a drone, they say, okay, I can drone. If no. it's a zergling, they're like, oh crap, I need to get ready for an attack. 
right now, Ben. There are a lot of links on the map for Mafia. Mafia is morphing a lot of banelings as well, but right on that moment, Koka is making links as well. As Koka was supply block for quite some time, he did spot most of those links running by, and as uh, that probably triggered the reaction for the second spine crawler as well. It is going to be tough, but with his own uh, defensive banelings and with his links and those spine crawlers, he should be more than fine. Uh, oh, that's a great detonation for Mafia as a couple of banelings are going to make their way in. Zerglings are going to quickly jump on these queens. There's a lot of drones in this mineral line that are quite exposed, and that is a good shot there for Mafia. Is it enough, mm, though? Yeah. It does actually catapult him into a lead, 44 drones to 32. And I think it is very interesting, Kevin, wow. how much that attack resembled Targa's ZVZ. Uh, somebody that's probably played and practiced with Mafia quite a bit. Yes, indeed. One of those bailing bots where you definitely have to deal some, a lot of damage, but you're also not making it to win the game, yet it's a very big attack. Kind of makes no sense. But Mafia had a lot of workers, but right on that moment, uh, Koka started morphing in a lot of drones as well, the moment he realized that he's quite safe. Oh, this is so Ooh. beautiful. Ling's uh, targeting the bailings wow. that are outside of splash range, uh, but still... Um, Koka does manage to protect those banelings. Mafia doesn't have a whole lot of units right now. Koka has a small uh, ling adventure. A lot of it comes down to control, and that was not all that bad. Wasn't bad for Mafia, but wasn't great either, as it puts uh, Koka in a worker lead once more. Oh, oh so close, do? but baneling does not detonate. And that actually might be a good thing, because uh, he keeps the banelings alive and kills everything. So mm. while Koka does get a bit of a scout, uh, Mafia Spots loses tower nothing in the exchange, and so once again we see us ourselves at a fairly even spot. Koka, who killed two more drones than his opponent, has a two-drone lead. That is that is just incredible. That after all of this, we find ourselves yeah. in such an equal spot. That is pretty uh, incredible. Roach speed is on the way for Mafia already. Well. I'm not even sure if we have a Roach one uh, for Koka. It's actually on the way, but he is getting the Infestation Pit, so Roach one is later, Infestation Pit is quicker. Uh, we have a Changeling Zirkling. Oh, nice uh, nice focus right there by Koka, as he picked it off with the Spine Crawler. And this is a really critical Overseer Scout, just trying to figure out what's going on in my opponent's base. He does now see that Infestation Pit. That is so huge. And it's going to tell him... Is that essentially tells Mafia, all right, we're... we're rapidly approaching the stage of the game wow. where the guy that attacks is actually putting himself into a really difficult position. As uh, in the moment he came to that conclusion, man, he morphed in 10 additional drones and he's getting his own infestation pit as well. His roach speed is going to be so much quicker though than the roach speed of Koka. And I cannot help to think myself that if he starts making a lot of roaches right now and he attacks uh, this additional base of Koka, that there's no way that Koka can defend. That's, that's definitely a thought, but we cannot forget the explosiveness of Larva and in the time it takes Ten roaches to cross the map. Speed roaches, man, they're quicker than Ferraris. That <laughs> may be true, but uh, slow roaches on creep are just as fast. Koka uh, is going to try to at least deny this base of Mafia. Well, that's going to get it. Yep. Yep, forces the cancel. Wow, and uh, sick dodge there. Only loses one or two links Eww. against that single bailing. Ooh, wow, great micro from both of these players. Holy cow, this is a high level. Mafia is good, man. And, uh, oh, that was a great uh, baneling detonation, but there's still too many links mm -hmm. there. Uh, but the roaches are out now, so. And that drone will fall as well. Wow, this was some sick control by Koka. And also sick timing, as right now he's still 10 workers behind, but he's a base up. He's going to have much quicker investors. And the window that Mafia perhaps had or didn't have uh, about making something happen with uh, fast roaches against slow roaches is not going to be there anymore. That was so key, man. Uh, basically, Koka shutting down that third base as his own third finishes puts him. And he's going to try to do the same thing once more, and I actually think he will be able to do it. He's going to force another cancel on this hatch. Oh, roaches are too far out of position. That was a little sloppy. You only yep. have to leave three or four roaches there. Uh, they have plus one. Lings are not a real threat. And I don't think we'll see Mafia make that mistake a third time. But Ooh, uh, contaminant being used in this hatchery. Perhaps uh, slowing like up. Something we saw Koko do against Golden as well. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't make a ton of overseers, but the ones he does make, he uses. And that's really cool. Uh, army supply right now, it's very even upgrade wise. <laughs> well, look at this. It's like a 10 second difference between the plus two upgrades from either side. Very high level play. The thing is for Mafia, Mafia has a lot of money in the bank, man. Uh, While well Koka is really spending well all this. He's had less larva to spend. We have to realize that. Uh, and that's uh. par partly a side effect of getting his hatchery sniped. He's going to be aggressive time. right now. We're having so oh, much that's money. That's not what you want to do. Great, oh, Fongo. This is what happens when you attack into investors, Kevin. Mafia, who has played a great game, has just thrown it away. One little mistake, he is uh, trying to sneak in with a lot of banings. We have investors over here, but uh, I guess he doesn't even need them as he has a queen and a spine crawler. He did blow up a little bit of larva, but uh, that's about it. 
wasn't worth it oh, losing all those roaches. Man. Like that was, a, it, we were still at an even place. Coco was mining more, but M Mafia had a small edge in, in his in his units. But now, after losing that many roaches, this game becomes firmly mm. Coco's to lose. Pretty big supply block for Coco though, uh, but he's still going to try to make something happen. Do we have infestus for Mafia? Yes, we do. We actually have four of them. Oh, here we go! Big fungal. Well, it's an okay fungal. Uh, catches about eight roaches. Couple of there. roaches coming in from behind, man. It's gonna try to snipe these infestors. Great, uh, at least ID by Coca. And I think he's just gonna be able to. Uh, yeah, he's just gonna overrun yep, Mafia gonna overrun, right now. Man, it's just straight up unit advantage as a result of that first fight. And uh, again, we're gonna see this third base getting picked off. Mafia's gonna try to pull drones and make something happen, but there's just nothing he's gonna be able to do, unless of course Coca allows it. Don't think that's the case, Ben, as he picks up those roaches as well. Great control by Coca. Great timing throughout the entire yeah. game. Really realizing that's when he can arrest him. That's a high-level ZVZ. Uh, Mafia played really, really good, and I think you can sum it all up as, as one small hmm. uh, decisional mistake. GG well, I think out. there were three, three mistakes. Um, perhaps the first time losing the hatch wasn't a big mistake. That was just well played by Coca. Uh, getting his hatch cancelled for the second time, that was a mistake. That shouldn't have happened. And then counter-attacking while having that much money and his opponent having a fastest on the map. Uh, that was the nail on the coffin. 100% agree, man. Uh, both players played great. Coca played better. He goes up 1-0 Coca in looks the series. good, man. He looked really good, and that's why he's my favorite to win this qualifier. We'll see if Mafia can bounce back. Maybe he's my favorite too now, Ben, after Hardest out. When we get back from this short break. <laughs>